What's going on YouTube? Now I know what you're thinking. Who's this handsome young devil? Well, <laughs> I've had the same haircut for the last two years, so I decided, you know, it might be time for something new. So that's what I did. I got a new haircut. Anyway, guys, today's video, basically, if you're someone who who battles with the basics, are you someone who battles with the basics? Are you someone who you just feel like everyone's beating you at a game that you feel like you were good at when local split screen was still a thing? Then this is the video for you. So, guys, basically, in this video, I'm just going to run through this private match. It's I'm just going to walk you through some of the simple things that I do in terms of of playing call of duty that you know it'll get you out of that silver or it'll get you out of that gold and it'll you you'll notice that you start to to find the gameplay a lot easier so one thing that you're always going to need is a good invest in a good headset oh shit invest in a good headset i know these are bots by the way invest in a good headset that's first first and foremost oh those those shots are chopped this guy's just shooting next up you're gonna want to know the maps you're gonna want to know the maps and you're gonna want to get a control setting that's that works best for you for me six and six uh, sensitivity seems to be the best i prefer it that way i have no issues with it uh my ads multiplier is one and that's what i'm comfortable with if you obviously someone who likes a little bit higher sense especially if you play on call of duty or if you play on controller oh shit. Not bad, not bad. If you play on controller, then maybe something else. Next up, you're going to want to make sure that your centering is good. You kind of want to keep your, your crosses in the middle of the screen. You don't want to be here. It's it. You just lose gunfights. I'll show you an example now of me running around with, you know, like really bad centering. And as you can see, even a bot can snipe me. <laughs> make sure you got your centering. Hey, man, chill out. Yo, you tried to get me with a throwing knife? Wow, okay. Good centering just means you're closer to the torso and the head for that headshot multiplier. And it'll make your life a lot easier. Once you get that down, your shots will be... You'll be beating people at gunfights. You'll be more regularly beating people at gunfights. Next up, if you're a controller player like me, uh, you're going to want to learn how to get rotational aim assist. Oh, okay. Easy. Nation, yeah. Here we go. There we go. There we go. So now what you saw me there, I was busy shouldering. So what that means is I'm basically peeking corners just to get some information. I'm just getting information. Just getting information. And then when I feel like either the next either the person that's shooting at you is either reloading or he is busy. I don't know, he's busy looking for you or, you know, just waiting you out. That's when you take your opportunity. I saw that guy there. Whoa, the shots are in today. Okay, okay, okay. Um, next up, you want, you're want you going to want to learn spawn points. You definitely want to know spawn points so that you can kill the same guy twice. Well, that's not the primary reason. The primary reason is because once you know spawn points, you have a lot better time keeping enemies at bay. And it means you get to control you get to control the game. So for me, I play a flex role a lot of the time. I play I play AR or sub. And I usually like to I like to I like to maintain maintain control over of, of the flow of the game. Um, if you are someone who likes to use an AR or you're someone who likes to use a a sniper, or whatever the case may be, if that's you then you know, by all means, learn the playstyle for that. I, I I can't cater for all playstyles because I don't play all playstyles. I think I just I spend a lot of time learning about how the game works and how the flow of the game works. Oh, I lost a little bit of aim assist there through that staircase. You're gonna want to also learn how to snake. You're gonna want to learn how to snake. You're gonna want to learn how to become hard to shoot. Once you become hard to shoot, it becomes a lot easier to shoot people. Learn to play off of head glitches, learn to play up. Learn how to juke, learn how to juke people, you know, like if, especially if you like to play fast paced, it's just going to be so much more exciting when you have the ability to just outgun someone just by using normal gun skill. Yeah. 
and a victory five deaths 30 kills versus the bots it doesn't i know it doesn't matter but th th that's besides the point like i usually tell everyone there's no such thing as the perfect controller settings i have made a video on my controller settings before but i'll just do a quick run through uh no vibration six and six multiplier with a one or six and six sensitivity with a one time multiplier like i said before if you feel like you are snapping too fast over everyone then i would highly suggest you lower this setting just so that you are a little bit more comfortable in terms of in terms of gameplay and just also if you're not too crazy about landing that clip or or being extremely snappy from one from one target to the next then you don't need a one-time multiplier because basically it, it a one-time multiplier means when you ADS, it's the equivalent of your sensitivity. So if you want a 13, that means when you ADS, you are still on a 13. Whereas if you take it down to 0 0.5, then you're on like a 7.5, 6.5. Mathematics, go to school, kids. <laughs> and that's my settings, guys. I don't use anything fancy. Like I said, I play, I still play on PS4. I use a PlayStation 4 with some back paddles on the controller. Um, I use tactical flipped because I like the bumpers. I like the bumpers more than I like the triggers. So I know obviously some people like the triggers more than what they like the bumpers. That comes down to preference. So I'm not going to tell you what to use. I'm not going to tell you how to use it. That just doesn't make sense for me because everyone's different. Everyone's everyone has their own preferences. And for me, that's my preferences. That's how I play. I like to play fast paced. I like to keep control of the map. I like to know where the spawns are and I like to make everyone's life that's not in my team your life's becoming a living hell if i'm in the lobby sometimes it doesn't always go like that and then you switch up to the ar role where you then start to hold the lanes or you start to just frag out with an ar because you know sometimes the subbies just they just don't have the gunny for it especially if you if you're someone who's good at using a submachine gun but you switch over to a faster ads like tac 56 or something Chances are you're going to have a better gunny than a lot of the submachine guns. I'm not saying you're going to be the best, but you'll have more than most. Guys, this was just a quick video. It's nothing too crazy. I thought I might throw in another how to be better at Call of Duty, I guess you can call it, video. I like to teach people things, so that's that's kind of why I did it. Anyway, guys, that's me, your boy Frowny, with a new haircut. I'll be seeing more of you guys soon. Also, I noticed that a lot of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed, so why are you coming back to these videos if you aren't subscribed? You know what I'm saying? You found me again. Smash that subscribe button. Love you, bye.